हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज माय सेकंड वीडियो रिगार्डिंग द वी यू अल्ट्रा फोर के टी वी नाउ एज आई सेड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो दिस टी वी इज़ इन अूज डिमांड बिकॉज ऑफ द एक्सेलेंट प्राइस टू परफॉर्मेंस रेशियो ऑफ दिस अल्ट्रा फोर के टी फॉर अ टी वी टू बी अ गुड और अ बैड टी वी एवरीथिंग कम्स डाउन टू द पैनल इट सेल्फ ना मोस्ट ऑफ द वी यू टी यूज द हाईसेंस पैनल्स यू कैन से दैट दीज आर रीब्रांडेड हाईसेंस टी But what I found is there are very few videos that do actual testing of these panels uh, and the videos, the reviews itself just give a brief overview of the specifications. I just wanted to do some few uh, video testing uh, for the panels ranging from the demonstration of HDR10 support as the uh, company claims. This TV also has HLG as well as Dolby Vision support but the peak brightness is around 400 nits uh, whereas uh, as per claims most HDR content uh, has to be shown on TVs which peak brightness should be around 1000 nits. Now this HDR content is widely distributed and in variety of formats and uh, getting on to the correct HDR format is a difficult scene and um, so in this video apart from the HDR10 capabilities of this TV I'll be showing some uh, test done to uh, check the backlight bleeding issue as I had done before plus I'll be doing the range of grayscale display that can be shown on this TV. I'll also be showing some local dimming uh, videos where you can observe the local dimming feature of this panel. So once again this is not a review itself uh, but this is a test video uh, just to show you the capability of this cheap or budget 4K LED TV. So to start with uh, let's start with the HDR content. Now I tried to play HDR content from YouTube. I tried playing various sources uh, like this sniper clip from the YouTube. But to my surprise, even though the settings were showing the quality of the video, but there was no HDR option displayed in this quality settings. Now when I open the same clip on my Galaxy S20 Plus, I can show you that there is a proper display of the HDR capabilities of this video. As I know, HDR is again available in a lot of various formats, so it is very difficult to know whether the TV supports HDR10 or not. So once again, to prove whether this TV supports HDR, I had to go to the site called 4kmedia.org. From there, I downloaded a 4K file of around 2 minutes, uh, that's a LG demo file of a 4K HDR video, uh, which is around 500 MB. Now I loaded this clip onto a SanDisk USB pen drive and attached to the USB port of this TV. Now on playing this 4K HDR uh, video, you can see that the colors are extremely vibrant. And uh, on pausing the video, you can see on the top right corner, it shows that HDR10. So this again clarifies that the TV supports HDR10, but the content and format has to be right. And once you're playing the HDR content, uh, on going into the picture mode, there is a lot of HDR options that is available like HDR dynamic, HDR standard, and uh, HDR calibrated and various other settings. Now after this test, I assume that even Dolby Vision is supported on this panel. Even though this TV may not be showing extremely bright uh, nits of around 1000 nits, but still HDR10 is supported and Dolby Vision is probably supported. Now in the rest of the video, I'll just show you the various videos, uh, testing videos from YouTube that you can show uh, to test your TV's capabilities, its uh, backlight bleeding issues and other features, uh, whether there is a red bleeding issue. Uh, many uh, VU TVs have this uh, problem of red colors encroaching upon or bleeding into the other parts of the scene. So just have a look at the video and let me know what you think about the video and any further test you want from me, want me to do on this panel. I'll be happy to oblige. So thank you guys. If you like the video, do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos.